channel. When I was covering the story about those earthquake drills that are going on last week across the entire earth right now, they're doing earthquake drills or they just did a scheduled earthquake drill where they say shake it up, shake up drill. And the kids went underneath the desk. I was talking about how they're conditioning people to prepare for an earthquake. And after I did that video, I saw this come out of local Missouri media about not if, but when an earthquake would hit along Missouri's New Madrid Fault. Now, if you're not familiar with the New Madrid Fault, they claim it is a very active area where there are more than 200 seismic events measured each year. But really what they're doing by telling you stuff like this is that they're preparing to unleash something in this area. And coincidentally, this all ties into predictive programming that I'll show you after I play for you this news clip. Because even recently, a few months ago, I did a video about a B-level movie that came out called Continental Split, where they showed an, showed an earthquake directly underneath the St. Louis Arch, which caused a continental split. Now, if you understand what they're saying here with the New Madrid fault line, well, they're pretty much hinting at the same thing. So, back to the drills that were run. I showed you some of the drills being done in classrooms, where they were showing children get underneath the desk, and they were saying, hey, everybody, this might be an earthquake. This is what you should do to prepare. But in Missouri, they're actually running active earthquake drills, where they actually have firemen and they have other personnel like EMTs who are running real drills preparing for a massive earthquake where they would have to go down into a mall or an area and remove bodies out from underneath the rubble. So here is the clip that aired on the news and keep in mind the theme, not if, but when. This could be, with the predictive programming I've seen, this could be something to monitor. Here's the news clip. Across the Midwest, thousands of people took the time to prep for a potential earthquake, part of what's called the Great Shakeout, many taking part in drills simulating what to do if an earthquake strikes. It's a worthwhile drill because federal experts warn magnitude 6 earthquake or higher could happen in our area in the next 50 years. New Madrid, Missouri is home to the New Madrid Fault Line. A massive earthquake hasn't happened there in quite some time. But the question, what would an earthquake on that fault line due to our bridges, stores, and infrastructures. Uh, infrastructure is important to think about. Avery Martinez takes a deep dive on the dangers right in our backyard. Imagine, it's 1812 and you're a settler in this town, New Madrid, Missouri, and for weeks you felt shakes in the ground, and then one night, a giant quake. The ground is ripping apart, the Mississippi is running backwards, and over your head as you look up, you see an 80-foot wall of water just washing towards you, washing away buildings as they collapse around you. Now, you got to remember, this was almost 200 years ago, before things like steel that you see behind me become normal parts of building. So the question today becomes, how would this fare against that, and how do you prepare for that, both in the air and on the ground? The 1812 quake was roughly 8 magnitude on the 10 point Richter scale. While it's difficult to predict where it might happen, officials are constantly prepping for when it does, like these drills at a mall. As there's a 25 to 40 percent chance of a magnitude 6 quake in the next 50 years. So we're simulating a collapse of the mall for search and rescue. It's just one of many drills this year. We're looking through rubble, smashed delivery trucks, to try and locate somebody or a sign of life. Emergency planning is focused on saving lives instead of preventing the inevitable. This is reality. So those older buildings, the uh, the, pro the different types of construction over the period of years. Hundreds of minor earthquakes have struck along the fault this year, but experts say there's only a 10% chance of a major quake right now. A FEMA report found if the 1812 quake hit today, the damage could exceed $200 billion. USGS estimates nationwide $14 billion of structure damage and loss are due to earthquakes. Thank you.
much. St. Louis area first responders trained constantly. Seismologists believe rain concerns come after the shaking. Then you're going to start worrying, well, will the pipes break? Well, how far along will we not have electricity? Well, the Midwest hasn't had a major quake recently. Preparation is key. Uh, when you look at the St. Louis area, especially all the new and during seismic fall, um, one could argue that uh, we're due for one of those. Impacts to rivers, bridges, and trains are major concerns. That's why it's crucial to understand earthquakes to better build and prepare. St. Louis University has studied them for over a century. program created to track the new Madrid fault. Why did we have the earthquakes? What was the nature of the earthquake? Where's the fault? Scientists estimate chance. We don't know when they're going to happen, and it's not because of a lack of trying. Buildings on soft soil near rivers are more likely to collapse. Seismologists study data so that if a disaster occurs, that there will be a response to help the people that are affected. Yes, it will be done quickly. Nationwide, over 500 USGS computer monitoring stations are constantly watching. Pablo is a survivor of a Chilean quake. And I was on a seventh floor, and I remember, okay, this is very scary. Well, no way to defeat fears to understand it. And the only way to imagine the future is to look at the past. Look at the impact of the 1812 quakes in these photos, taken 90 years later. I spoke to the New Madrid Historical Museum, who collects research on the fault and the people surviving the 1812 quake. A woman named Eliza Bryant, she wrote an account about the earthquakes and the fear. And I went outside, people were screaming, running to the world exploded around it. Wrecked boats covered the river. Welcome to the Mississippi River. It's prudent to become worried about them, not necessarily afraid. Small to be felt, right? So there's all this stuff out there. 